Was I not just saying this? Was I not just saying this? You are a natural born public speaker and that's a fact. Do you actually feel guilty of what you just told to feel guilty? Focus on actually what we can do. You point it out and show it to me. You have the freedom to do what you want to and be what you want to in America. What are we going to do with that? What oppress me? Just saying. So the CRT stuff is about protecting this institution or talked about this institution, but we got a $40 billion bill at 3 o'clock in the afternoon. I haven't had a chance to review the bill. My staff is pouring over the pages trying to see what's in it. You want to talk about the institution? You want to talk about standing up alongside Ukraine? Why don't we actually have a debate on the floor of the People's House instead of the garbage of getting a $40 billion bill at 3 o'clock in the afternoon? Not paid for, without having any idea what's really in it, with a massive slush fund that goes to the State Department, $13 billion, $8 billion for the Economic Support Fund, $110 million for Embassy Security. We've got $40 billion that is unpaid for, and you want to sit here and lecture this body about what we're going to do or not do about standing alongside Ukraine? Why don't we talk about the American people who are hurting, the wide open borders, the inflation that's killing people, the jobs that people can't get because of the cost of goods and services in this country. Sitting here and being lectured to when I don't even have time to look at a $40 billion unpaid bill. I make the amount of All right, what's going on, folks? So you guys saw the video right there. You heard everything the guy was saying. You can feel the man's passion and the fact that he is upset about this. Now, check this out. I did a video some time ago. I will say, I don't know, maybe two months ago, and I caught a whole lot of heat for it, which I really don't care because I just spit the stuff out as I see it, and it's just easy, folks. And I'm going to take y'all through this again because I know there's a new line of people that's new to this channel. First of all, I appreciate the new people that have subscribed. I appreciate the support. I appreciate the thumbs up and the sharing that you guys have been doing. You guys have been doing great things. Heck, before this summer is over, well, y'all probably would have me at a million subscribers or whatever. But no, I really appreciate that. For the ones that are new to the channel, get an idea of what my channel is all about. I do more than just what y'all see right here. I do reaction videos. I do comedy videos. I do personal issues videos. I do a lot of stuff on this channel. Check the entire channel out. The more stuff you watch on my channel that's to your liking, the better it's going to be for pushing out this message and what we're doing here. So anyway, welcome to the Modern Renaissance Man channel. And this section that I'm doing right here is called the My Take uh, section. Now, again, y'all just heard what that man said, okay? So I'm going to take y'all through what I talked to a lot of people about a few months ago that the video got pulled down by YouTube for being like, I don't know. It's just like, I no, it wasn't pulled down by YouTube pretty much. It was, what's the word I'm looking for? It was uh, demonetized whatever so they didn't even recommend it out which they may not recommend this one out either but anyway let me just say this to those that are of the faith christian etc etc you don't you guys already know this but to the ones that are not i'm not getting ready to say what i'm getting ready to say to be condescending to throw flack at y'all or anything like that i'm just giving you some sort of a rundown of how it is you know from that word of god so one of the things that the bible talks about is and something that i've learned is pretty much how to how i take care of people is how i take care of it in my home um let me see so in first timothy first timothy pretty much says anyone who does not provide for their relatives especially their own household has denied the faith and is worse than an unbeliever now there's all kind of different things that the king james says but if any provide not for his own home especially for those of his own house he had denied the faith and is worse than the infidel new king james verse says but if anyone does not provide for his own and especially for those in his household he has denied the faith and is worse than an unbeliever okay so you heard that part right there right but then there's also one in here in the bible that talks about how can you take care of the church if you can't take care of your own home? So I'm going to find that part right there for you too, for the ones that want to know that. I know some of y'all like, dude, I'll, I'll just believe your words, but I just really want to put it out there. Let's see here. So give me a second. I'm going to type it for a second. Uh, what did I just say it was? Uh, how can you take care of the church? Here, let's see. Here we go again. It's 1 Timothy 3 and 5. It says, if anyone does not know how to manage his own family, how can he take care of God's church? But if the one does not know how to manage his own household, how will he care for the church of God? King James says, if a man know not how to rule his own house, how shall he take care of the church? New King James says, for if a man does not know how to rule his own house, how will he take care of the church of God? So here's the thing I want to let y'all know. The reason why I say this, because I know there's going to be a bunch of conflicting and arguable, you know, arguments or point of views on this. But I'm just coming at y'all from the point of view of my faith. OK, and I'm not pushing this on anybody. I'm just telling you, I'm just using this scripture 
as deem those two scriptures as foundation, right? So check this out. We're supposed to be a nation that's founded on Christian values, right? Now I know people say, no, it was not because of, I can look, I, I'll, I'll bring out my little booklet there and show you all kinds of different things that Benjamin Franklin, John Adams, all these different people made reference to God. Okay. I can show folks that. Okay. So anyway, um, the reason why I say all that is this, if you are not able to take care of your own home and this is how can you take care of the church of God? Now, what I want to let y'all know is that the church is not a building. The church is not a place you go to church is you. If you are of the faith, the church is you. The church is you. It says, know ye not that the Holy Ghost, that your body is the temple of the Holy Ghost. Know you not that your body is the temple of the Holy Ghost. It said, God's going to dwell in a place of, you know, uh, of, uh, he's going to, I know I'm going fast, y'all. That's the ancestry. Okay. He's going to dwell in buildings not made by hands of man. Pretty much it's going to be in you. Christ in you, the hope of glory. So my point in saying all that is this. Now I'm kind of establishing you guys on what the church really is. The church is the ecclesia. It's the people. Whoever is of the faith in Christianity, you are the church. So I'm not preaching at y'all. I'm just giving y'all a setup here so I can tell y'all where I'm going with this. The reason why I say that is this. If this current administration is supposed to be of the faith, Catholic faith, supposed to be of the faith, it says if you cannot take care of your own house, how are you going to take care of the church? So if I say the church is people, I'm giving y'all a little bit of setup here, an analogy. If you do not take care of your own house, you shouldn't be meddling in anybody else's business and telling them how to take care of their house. So a lot of y'all are about to get ticked off about this. $40 billion is going to be getting ready to go to Ukraine. $40 billion. When we are in a freaking technically without them saying it, we are in a freaking recession. Prices, prices have gone up on everything. Some of you guys sent me pictures of y'all's grocery stores where the meat is going. And then like the formula, the formula is out, which I mean, I'm look, I'm not trying to hit on y'all. Look, I'm just being real with y'all. Right now, if this was me in, the, in this predicament, well, my wife breastfed my son. She breastfed them all the way to one. But if, if I knew if there was any nursing mothers around, I would be like, look, I will pay you to pump. Seriously, I'm just being real. If you're really that concerned about your baby not getting his milk, find somebody that is pumping. You know what I mean? And don't be scared, folks, because you sit there and drink cow's milk all day long. And anyway, that's another story. But my point in saying all that is this. Some folks get upset and they got upset because I told them, why are we sitting there trying to take care of Ukraine and all that when we haven't even taken care of our own home yet and here in America? I will, I'm serious. I get it. I will pray. For, look, there's stuff going on over in other countries. Y'all do know that slavery is still going on to this day, right? It's still going on to this day and legal in a lot of countries right now. But nobody's going to talk about that. But my point is this. Why aren't we taking care of America first before taking care of any other countries? Technically, I know folks are like, well, you know, we do $40 billion. Do you know what they can do for people in America right now? Gas, gas is up. Food is up. Everything is completely up. $40 billion is getting ready to go to Ukraine. That's going to have a losing battle. It's like, I almost feel like what does Ukraine have on anybody that might be corrupted in, in Washington, what, what do they have on them to where we can raise send them $40 billion? I mean, the Bidens were already in bed with Ukraine already as it is. But what do they have? I mean, $40 billion. Open borders, letting everybody come in. Uh, everything is high. Kids can't even get Semilac. No, they can't get formula right now. But our main concern is wearing Ukraine flags, virtue signaling, to help Ukraine out with $40 billion. But we can't take care of America. Do y'all not see? I told y'all, I did a video the other day. They do not care about you like they claim. And some folks are going to try to jump in there and be those really good hearted. Well, Ty, the people in Ukraine, I can show you some buildings in Chicago. I can show you some buildings in Decatur, Illinois right now. I can show you some buildings there and just play some sad music with it. And then just say, will you help here in the United States? Look, look, I can show you some nappy headed kids. I can show you some trailer park trash looking folks. Yeah, I'm just saying, I'm not trying to say it's be mean or nothing like that. I'm just saying to play this whole thing up to get the people little feelings and all that. I can show y'all buildings that look just like in Ukraine and they haven't even been hit with war. There's buildings in Chicago. There's buildings in Decatur. There's buildings in all kinds of different cities around here. Baltimore, Maryland, and Michigan. I can show you some neighborhoods that look just like freaking Ukraine right now and haven't got a penny from the government and probably won't get a penny from the government. But our concern is with Ukraine right now. Okay, like I said, folks, I'm all for helping people. Y'all should notice by now, if you're new to my channel, you pretty much got an idea that I'm not one of these fake folks just trying to push stuff out on there just to get views and them like that. No, I really do care about you. I care about people in Ukraine as well. But, but 
I get a lot of wisdom from that Bible. And I'm telling you right now, the reason why we are able to help so many people within our communities, within our own church, is because I learned from God, the father. I learned how to be a father to my own sons. I learned how to run my own house. And being able to run my own house, I'm protecting my own house. Number one, I'm making sure that my house has those four things I said at the end of my videos, food, shelter, clothing, and health. That's what I do. I'm there to actually be a leader in my house. Now, if my house is set, my domain, my kingdom is set and everything is flowing right. Everything is in harmony. The morale is good. The rapport is good within my family, in my home. Then I can go and help my next door neighbor if they're having issues in their home, right? But until I get my home, my kingdom, my domain in order, it's not going to do no good because the more I'm paying attention to trying to help these people out there in their homes, my home is failing, which is exactly what you see going on in America right now. We are being tore up left and right. We are being bamboozled with all kind of nonsense, but it's real easy for the folks to look at us right now and make fun of us right now in these other countries. We're supposed to be the leaders of the world. We're supposed to be the country. We're supposed to be the strong, but they're looking at us like, okay, nobody really has to, I mean, guys, nobody has to fight America right now. You want to know why? Because we're fighting each other. They don't have to do anything. It's like a self implosion. Let them kill themselves. They find out the dumbest stuff in the world. They don't even know what a freaking woman is right now. Matter of fact, women want to kill their kids. Men want to be women. Women want to be men. They fighting over that. Black one, black people fighting over at white people. White people want to be at black people. Division, division, division. We don't. Then we can infiltrate. Why do you think it's so easy to have the open borders right now? No stability. No strength. No real leadership. And I'm just going to be real too. I'm just guys. I told you I'm not from the left or the right because I'm just for righteousness. I'm from the above. I'm for God and his righteousness and truth. And right now, to throw that thing, I know they might catch some flack over this, which I don't care because I'm telling the truth. Man, Republicans look, y'all, man, y'all look weak. Seriously, man. Like, I swear to y'all, it seemed like y'all never been in a fight in y'all life. Guys, I'm serious. I'm just, I'm just, look, I'm not mad. I'm just calling stuff like I see it. What good does it do for people to call out this and call out that and call out this? I'm talking about those that are in positions of power. What good does it do if you really not putting your foot to it to try to get these things done? There was this crazy phrase in Transformers, and I, like, I pick up a lot of things from movies, and it was with Tyrese. You know, they running through buildings and all this because the Decepticons is just tearing stuff up. I mean, they got a big old giant thing that's like crushing buildings in Transformer, and Tyrese made a statement. He said, man, why all the bad guys get all the good shh? And it seemed like that. Why, why the bad guys seem like they got all the good stuff and the, the good people trying to be about fortitude, solidarity. We're about calling out evil. What is them going to do? What are y'all going to do, though? That's what I'm saying. It's crazy. You got a lot of black people that are waking up to this stuff and seeing what the Democratic Party was all about. But yet at the same time, why flee and go over to the Republican side when you don't have nobody that actually wants to fight? That's why they hated Donald Trump. I'm just I'm, I'm just telling you. That's why they hated Donald Trump, because he shut stuff down. He really did fight for stuff. But right now, there's not too many Republicans I see out there doing something like that. Just don't want to talk. I'm going to do this. We have to this. We got to make sure we got. But what are y'all actually doing? Dude, I'm serious, y'all. I'm telling y'all, I'm, I'm from the streets. I'm from the hood. We didn't we didn't put up with stuff like that. You come over to our territory thinking you about to take over. You about to be in for a battle. Plain and simple. It's so crazy to me, man. I mean, I get I get that there's a certain way of doing things. I understand all that. But what all I'm saying is this. When are you going to show what the real. I mean, guys, I'm just saying Republicans. You guys are the party that fought for slavery, right? Where did that fight go? I mean, is that, is that the only thing y'all going to be known in history for? Is just fighting to help free the slaves? That's it? But not fighting right now for America's foundations right now? Because they're going after the foundations of America. They're going after the foundations of America. They're going after that constitution. That's what they're going after there right there. Because now all of a sudden, if that right there get crushed, and that's the very foundations of, the, uh, of America. You won't even be America no more. It's just going to be Erica. I <laughs> mean, Everything going soft and trans and feminine. Everything is just super feminized and they want men to be feminine. Everything just, in other words, soft. We're not going to be called America. We're just going to be called Erica. The United States of Ericas is what it's going to be called. So, yeah, I'm calling out Republicans too, man. I mean, did, why what, black people, you know, black people waking up and leaving the Democratic Party to come over to what? To come over to what? What type of fight are y'all putting up?
just calling this out and calling that, but I'm talking about actually really doing something, man. See, that's what I'm saying. I need to, don't worry. I'm, I'm, I'm learning some stuff. I am really learning some stuff because I don't know. I, they, you really need somebody out there that's going to actually stand up for the people and fight for the people and have a no nonsense and don't care attitude what people have to say about them. They don't, I mean, that, that they don't want that type of person there. That's why they hated Donald Trump, folks. So anyway, that's what I'm saying with this whole thing that that man just got done spewing out. Guys, if you do not take care of your own home, you taking care of somebody else's home and your home is not in order, something's wrong. Something's wrong. Something is greatly wrong and it needs to get it together. But at the same time, who is the one that's choosing and voting and putting these people in place? Their actions are showing what they feel about you. And I said this the other day. And right now you can see they don't give a boop about you. They don't give a boop about me. They don't give a boop about you. If they don't, they don't give a crap about the babies that's unborn and even the ones that's been in the womb for a long time, do you really think they don't give a crap about your baby right now that you don't got no formula for? Nope. Hate them. It's all evil, folks. You are made. I'm not going religious on y'all. I know that I got people in here that are Satanists. I got people that are Buddhists. People that are Hindi, I got a lot of people to follow me and they respect me and I respect them. So they know whenever I phrase things like this, I'm not saying to get at them. But you are made in the image of God. And there is an evil out there that absolutely hates the way you look to the extent to where it will try to kill you before you even have a chance. And it doesn't care whether you're on the right or the left. It hates you altogether. Whether you're going to sell your soul to that evil, to push out that evil agenda, knowing that in the end that evil is going to kill you. Also, you can gain the money and riches and all that so you can have a name for yourself and you really don't even care it because it doesn't matter. The evil hates you. But the difference is there are real people out there, real men and real women of God that is not going to let this stuff fly. And the media will not show you all this stuff that they're not going to come out the real folks of church. They, they just not because real men and women of God of the church are not scared of this nonsense. They're pushing out right now. Church people need to be the main ones. Definitely out there encouraging people out there just pretty much doing real work of God. Not just this, oh, we're going to sit back and pray that Jesus will help us one day. No, do get out there and fight. I'm not talking about physically fighting. So y'all don't try to make it seem like I'm Donald Trump. Go out there and let your voices be heard. And then all of a sudden he incited violence or whatever. Come on, man. Insurrection. But learn how to fight do not be scared to speak out against evil the reason why it seems like evil is getting the best right now is because folks scared to say something especially a lot of the ministers out there because you don't want to you don't want to lose your members you don't want to lose the tithe you don't want to lose that money and that lavish lifestyle you're living a lot of y'all pastors are not doing anything different than what black lives matter doing you are not doing anything different the same tactics black lives matter played on black folks is what a lot of pastors do to y'all prosperity preaching stuff pushing all this stuff out there god's gonna this and no uh, see the reason why you're not blessed because you're not you're not giving enough he doing good and the rest of the church is failing again it's the same exact tactics that the united states government our leaders are doing to us right now you need to make sure that come this time around in uh november mid you know november you need to let your voice really be heard show up in numbers Y'all need to have, everybody need to have their phone out showing real time. Like I'm voting right now. And if something comes up, they already said I voted and I did not vote, blah, 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 blah. You need to have that stuff out, folks, because last, this last election, I'm pretty sure it woke up some people. Now, I know it didn't go the way a lot of people wanted to go. But at the same time, even during that time, I just felt folks did more talking about it and wanted to expose it and say this and that versus actually doing something about it. Y'all, I didn't read it on too long. I know I probably lost y'all in the process, but I'm going to end it with this and summarize it up is that if you cannot take care of your own house, how can you take care of the church? And we're going to get away from that part of the religious. So I can sum it up in a more secular way. If you do not take care of your home, it says you're worse than an infidel. Now, at the same time, if you plan on helping anybody outside of your kingdom outside of your domain outside of your nation make sure your kingdom your domain your home your nation is in order before trying to help another nation otherwise your home your domain your kingdom your nation is going to fail because of the destruction that's going on inside because you're not getting it in order biden showed it already he can't even get his kids in order 
crackheads and all that. Matter of fact, I, my cousin them sold him a few of them things. No, I'm just joking, y'all. Anyway, appreciate y'all taking the time out to listen to me. Make sure you uh, get an idea what this channel is about if you're new and then you decide to subscribe. Cool beans. Uh, the ones that have been following me for a while, double check to make sure that y'all subscribe. Also, when you do subscribe, click the bell notification and make sure that the bell notification says all because when, it, when you do it that way, anything that I post, you will be notified of it, okay? All right, uh, let me know what else y'all heard or seen out there. Leave it in the comments about this video. Let me know what y'all think of this whole nonsense of pretty much you becoming a step-headed, the red-headed stepchild or the bastard of the family, the black sheep, because it seemed like the cares of everything else is going on versus the cares of America. I am Ty Smith, modern renaissance man, hoping and praying that every last one of you have food, shelter, and clothing. And most of all, I hope and pray every last one of you guys are in great health, mentally, physically, emotionally, and spiritually. God bless you all through Jesus. What's going on everybody so hey check this out i appreciate you guys watching i appreciate you taking time out of your day to view these videos do not forget to subscribe to the channel give the video a thumbs up and also right here is where you can catch the next video the latest video that i've done but like right up here this is stuff that i've done kind of in the past so in this area you might find a video that i've done in the past it can be funny it can be something serious it does not matter but this is something that you can also do to check out more material that i do in my channel because i do a lot in this channel all right so again appreciate everything from you guys keep on watching it keep on supporting it and god bless you all